Hi, I'm Phil, and today we're going to prepare our um, EV3 to communicate with um, Microsoft MakeCode. So um, you just need to connect your um, Lego EV3 uh, to a uh, Windows PC using the USB cable. You can't do this with Bluetooth. You have to use the USB cable. Uh, so uh, we'll go through the steps. First thing to do is to, um, on the Chrome browser, type in EV3 firmware. Now, once you get that, the first one that comes up will be uh, Lego Mindstorms Education EV3. So click on that and um, go down and there'll be another link right on the bottom. So this page from Lego Education is talking about updating your EV3 brick uh, for the latest firmware. So you can check that firmware. So if you go to um, the link on the bottom, go to EV3 Device Manager. It will then come up with a page. And um, it says at the moment um, that I'm connected to my EV3, and I've called that EV3B. And uh, it tells me how much memory that I have on top. And it tells me the version. So I'm running version 1.10e, which is... Um, the latest version. So you can see that there are previous versions there, and you can see a diagram of the connections uh, of my EV3. Now, if I didn't have the latest version, you would then click on the version and then download it. Uh, so once you've done that, uh, your EV3 will have been updated to the latest firmware. Now, once you've done that, you'll be able to use Microsoft uh, make code for EV3. So the way to get that is to type in make code EV3. And when that comes up, just click the first link. And then the, the next link, which is um, make code for EV3 Mindstorms, click on that one. And that will take you to the um, Microsoft make code for EV3. So you, you can see that I've got a few programs here. And um, if you want to start off from scratch, go down to a, a new project. And there are a number of panels on the screen. So the one on the far left is a simulator. And it will show you the um, progress of your code. And it will try to execute that on a virtual EV3. So on the top, you've got your motors from A to D. And on the bottom, you've got your sensors. In the middle panel here, and you can scroll down, we've got the uh, tools organized in various categories. So I'm gonna call these drawers. And uh, we've got um, two envelopes. And the idea is to fill up these envelopes with commands. And we then download, once we've uh, populated the area on the right, we download the program and it will go to the download area of our computer. So let's create a simple program. Uh, we'll, if we click on bricks with the left mouse, the various things that you can do there, uh, manipulate the buttons, uh, put messages on the screen, and find out the battery level. So the first thing we might want to do is um, uh, set, uh, we might, we'll do something very simple. We'll just put a simple graphics on the screen to show the mood. 
and we will um, once we do it, you notice that um, it's showing you the progress of that on the um, uh, simulator. So what we might do is um, have a look at some of the other, and we might pause uh, for, say, about um, two seconds, and we'll put a message on the screen. So on the screen, we're going to say, hello, world on line one. And so you'll notice that the screen has changed and it's now showing the uh, picture and it then says, hello, world, over here. So we've got a very simple program. And uh, what we might do is uh, forever, just, just turn on the lights. So if we go over here uh, and go to the brick, We'll turn on the lights over here. And if we wanted to, we could then look at sensors. We might turn that uh, sound off. We'll get rid of that one. And our program is only going to show Hello World for a couple of, um, uh, and pause there for about um, two minutes. Now, um, in the forever, we're, um, we're turning on the lights. And um, if we wanted to, we could play some music. So we've got some music over here, or we could have a, um, a sound. And um, if we use another event button, so when we press enter, what we're going to do here is play some um, sounds. So we might um, bring the first one down, and instead of a cat, we could um, have some other. Let's see. EV3. Good. And good. So what's going to happen is that when we press the button enter, it will press good. It will um, uh, speak good on the EV3 speaker. So here's our very simple program. We might actually give it a name. So instead of untitled, we'll call it um, Speak. Speak. Test. So Speak Test 1 is the name of our program. And to get it into the EB3, we just simply press Download. And it's now gone to the download area. So on Chrome, go to download and show it on the folder. And there it is for today. We've got Lego speak test one dot UF2. So that UF2 file is going to be copied and put into our um, EV3. Now, because we've got the latest version, it allows our EV3 to appear as a USB device. So on the bottom here, you can see all of the um, uh, disks that have been attached to my Windows PC. So the first one, C, is the main disk. And the one under that is our EV3. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to uh, copy that just by... Uh, using control C and we're going to open up the um, EV3 folder and we're going to um, uh, we'll go back there we see we have lost it for a second just going to open up our um, here you are we've got it again uh, what we're going to do is go back to uh, EV3, and we're going to download it by pressing Control V. And when I, and you can see it now being copied. And um, so, um, my program. Let's have a look at uh, the computer. Let's uh, at the moment see if we can find it.
Now, here's my computer. And when I press the uh, the button here, So the program is now working on my EV3. That's all for the time being. Uh, we'll catch up with you later.